How's it going everybody? Welcome to the video. In honor of Godzilla Minus One hitting theaters, we're going to do five more facts you may not know about Godzilla. After the success of Shin Godzilla in 2016, Toho was struggling with the concept for a follow-up movie. It wasn't until director Takashi Yamazaki proposed doing a period piece that Toho put the movie into production. Yes, it happened. It's real. Nike filmed a commercial featuring Barkley and the King of the Monsters in 1993, and Dark Horse produced a comic showing the encounter. The story ends with Barkley leaving Godzilla with a pair of Nikes to <coughs> work on his game. Yeah, there's no denying that was definitely an odd pairing. But you know what's not an odd pairing? Your house and the wonderful, wonderful scent of Stevie Wicks candles. Stevie Wicks is an artisanal candle company where every single candle is hand poured using 100% all natural soy wax, including the colored ones which is very atypical because those are normally a soy paraffin blend, if they're soy at all. Now, not only does Stevie Wicks make by far the best candles you will ever smell, there's a pretty good chance that it will be made by yours truly. And as if that wasn't enough to entice you, every month there is a major holiday. We do holiday-themed candles, not just in white, there are colored ones as well. And for the month of December, obviously that's Christmas, but we do have Hanukkah candles for all of our Jewish friends out there. You can also sign up for our monthly subscription box you get one of these bad boys every month, and on those holiday themed months, the entire box is holiday themed. Not only that, if you're a monthly subscriber, not only do you get candles sent to your home every month so you don't have to think about it, you get exclusive candles like this reindeer jar cookies for Santa candle. And for all of you Arate fans out there, if you use the promo code Arate, you get 10% off your order at checkout. Or if you use the promo code RATE20, you get 20% off your first monthly subscription box. And if you sign up anytime in December, you still get the December box, even if you sign up on December 31st. So don't wait, get your Christmas candles today and take care of your holiday shopping as well, because who doesn't love getting candles? Don't forget to use your promo codes. In the original 1954 Godzilla, the music track known as Godzilla's Theme, written by Akira Ifukube, was actually intended for the Japanese Self-Defense Force. In fact, if you watch the movie, that music only plays when the Self-Defense Force is on screen. Eventually, the theme was so popular with fans and Toho executives alike, it quickly became the theme for Godzilla and the entire franchise. <laughs> In 2015, Godzilla became an official citizen of Japan, complete with a citizenship certificate and a job. His job is actually the reason for his special residency status. In fact, his certificate reads, Reason for special residency, promoting the entertainment of and watching over the Kabukicho neighborhood and drawing visitors from around the globe. Minus One could allude to the fact that even though the film celebrates the 70th anniversary of Godzilla, it technically came out a year too early. See, the first Godzilla movie came out on November 3rd, 1954, and 70 years after that would be November 3rd, 2024, but Godzilla Minus One came out on November 3rd, 2023 in Japan. So, it's actually 70 years minus one? It could also be nodding to the fact that, technically speaking, this is the earliest set Godzilla film. The original Godzilla, again, takes place in 1954, but Minus One begins in 1945, and the last date shown on screen is 1949. So theoretically, this movie happens at least a little bit earlier than the original. It could also be referring to a countdown. Much of the movie is spent waiting for Godzilla to arrive, so perhaps G-1 refers to the last calm moment before Godzilla arrives. And some say the title refers to Japan itself. World War II set Japan back to zero, but Godzilla's arrival puts Japan in the negative. So, I have a confession to make. In the first video, which you can watch right here, I said that the winner between Godzilla vs. Kong's first fight depended on where you saw the movie. 
Well, even though I read that in a book, an official book, mind you, when I was young, it's actually not true. Unfortunately for us Godzilla fans, King Kong actually wins in both versions of the movie. And there you have it, five more facts you may not know about Godzilla. So Godzilla plus five. So definitely go check out Godzilla Minus One in the theater. It's definitely worth it. And be on the lookout for my review of Godzilla Minus One on my new series that I'll be debuting soon, The Good, The Bad, and The Nerdy.